Hi. So I'm Javier Adam. We're quite big investors in Europe and we were big investors in Spain. And um, so after what we saw the other weekend, we pulled a lot of money out of Madrid because it's just, um, you know, it's not a regime that we're going to support until... How much money are we talking about? Oh, a lot of money, over a billion euros. We took oh. 300 million out and we've frozen 1.1, so it's 1.4 billion at the moment, which we're not spending in uh, central Spain. We'll spend in Catalonia and I've got um, about 10 projects I'm looking at. We'll spend in Pace Basque. But um, what we saw was deplorable. There's a lot more to it than has been reported. Now, um, I won't go on too much, but basically this has been building up for a long time. And they'd been denying civil rights. They'd been shutting Internet. They'd been raiding ministries, all sorts of stuff that they shouldn't be doing before this vote took place. Now, I think one of your points is about helping the working class. At the moment in Spain, in central Spain, you've got a very, a very um, small elite of people running things. And this is all about they're very, very worried that the top's about to be blown off their little game. OK, the working people in Spain are not benefiting at the moment. If Catalonia sorts, sorts itself out and gets out, which it needs to do, it can then possibly help the normal people in the rest of Spain. Because at the moment, young people don't have opportunities because it's old men. If you look at all the ministers at the moment, they're all you know, 50, 60 plus. They look old. They act old. They, they think they're going to trick people. So you have videos of people being beaten up and then they lie about this uh, sort of stuff. And um, it just doesn't wash. I mean, I saw an American journalist who just thought this guy was crazy. It was the, um, I think it's the external affairs minister of Spain. So at the moment, Sp Spain's kind of broken. Spain's dividing. Now, Catalonia is a much more united society and they're kind of going together in one direction by and large. Now, yes, but it's seven million in Catalonia and 60 million in Spain. Well, so you're one of the few capitalists, and I'm grateful for your tender concern for the working class. You're one of the few capitalists, billionaire capitalists, who is more interested in the market of 7 million than you are in the market of 60 million. Explain that. Well, I don't know if it is 60 million because they, they don't really have an idea how many people are there in Spain at the moment. So if we look at figures, it ranges from 40 to 56 million, I think I've seen. But no, I mean, we, we will not support that sort of regime. There's, there's no way. Now, outside of the ethics of it, um, the economy's going nowhere. As soon as I saw the, um, the people being beaten up and really beaten, I saw one girl get every finger broken, saw old people hit. I saw a doctor resuscitating somebody and, and the police pushed, um, you know, the crowd on top of him. It's really, really bad. Um, the, you know, people are not going to invest there. Now, the reason it hasn't hit the press yet, which is, it's kind of starting to, is because investors are trying to offload things in Madrid and other parts of Spain. We've been offered lots of things because we're, we're specialists in that market. Now you'll see that, that things are really getting sticky. The Spanish government on Friday, they, they kind of revised down their growth figures for next year. Now, it's just really obvious stuff. If you are running a fairly developed country and then your answer is to start hitting people and kicking them and, and just and causing pandemonium, all premeditated. It's really important to know the police, most of them were shipped in from outside Catalonia. I've got videos, I've got photos, etc. They were revved up. They hate the Catalans, OK? Let's face it. They've got money, the Catalans. They live in nice places. They look after their places, by and large. They went to sleepy villages to smash them up, to cause destruction. They went to expensive places like Girona, where Puigdemont's from. And the whole, the whole thing was planned. I've got a map of where the worst incidents took place. And this wasn't big crowds and the police just turning up and seeing who was there. They, they were trying to get into the psyche of the Catalans, which they'll never, never, ever, ever do because it's a very tight community. And they're also trying to affect the young people and scare them for the next 50 years. So they went to schools and they smashed and there's schools in Barcelona where they smashed every door. And there was just no need for that. It was just wanton violence. And it was it was planned and it came from the top. And it's very, very bad in 2017 to um, be you know living in a society like that. Well, a lot of home truths out already and much more to come after this. <laughs>